What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and the Fantastic Four are making their way to the MCU not too long from now. We do have a couple of years to wait, but of course, as we in the fandom know, the hype for movies starts way before the release of an actual movie. In fact, for both the Fantastic Four and the X-Men, the hype for both of these films to finally make their way to the MCU has been going on for years now, ever since the Disney Fox deal. But now we are closer with an actual release state and we might actually have our casting for Mr. Fantastic. We also have a list of names of who could be cast as Sue Storm. Now, it does seem like Marvel Studios is kind of getting things together officially for the Fantastic Four at this point in time. We know that Marvel Studios president, Kevin Feige, is really, really trying to make sure that the Fantastic Four is sort of the perfect movie. This is his baby. This is Marvel's first family, and Kevin Feige has expressed many times how important this movie is to him. So, it would make sense that they would start preparing for this movie and start getting the perfect cast together way in advance. And we could have our Mr. Fantastic right now in the MCU and it looks like the casting for Sue Storm is not far away at all. So let's start off by talking about Mr. Fantastic. Now right away a lot of talk has been going around this morning about the Fantastic Four in general and many insiders and some influencers have been speaking out about what they have heard. Now the first name that has been tossed out for Mr. Fantastic is Penn Badgley. According to the Marvel Vision podcast they have heard that Penn Badgley has reportedly been contacted to play Reed Rich in the Fantastic Four. Or I should clarify and say that he's been contacted about playing Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four in the MCU. Now, if you don't know who Penn Badgley is, he is quite famous and he has been in a lot of really great things. He was in John Tucker Must Die, he was in Easy A, he played a big role in Gossip Girl, and many people probably know him from the series You. Now, I've seen his stuff and I actually think that he would make a good young Reed Richards. Obviously, if Marvel Studios is contacting Penn Badgley about playing Reed Richards, they are looking for a young Reed Richards, not the older, more sophisticated Reed Richards that we all pretty much know. But but I think Penn would actually be a pretty good choice and this would stick true to the rumors that we've been hearing for a while that Marvel Studios wants to cast some really big names but also some lesser known names. And while I definitely give credit to Penn Badgley, I do believe there are quite a few people out there who don't really know who he is. So he could be one of those lesser known names but when we get into Sue Storm, you can see that there are some pretty big names that Marvel Studios is looking into casting. But staying on Reed Richards for just a bit, when all of this casting news started breaking out this morning, an interesting rumor started going around from Grace Randolph. Now, Grace Randolph has been right about scoops in the past, which is why I am mentioning it. However, you should take this with a grain of salt. But what she said is quite interesting. This morning, she tweeted stating, the casting list for Reed Richards is so good. Like you see one name and you're like, wow, but then you see the next and you're like, OMG. What a Sophie's choice for Feige. The role hasn't been cast yet, but soon might be one of the best MCU castings ever. She then went on to also say, some of the names have been floating around lately, two I haven't seen anywhere else. When they announce the casting, I'll tell you who almost got it. One person is someone who worked on a huge Disney franchise already, and then she tweeted the Star Wars logo. Now, when I read this, I think of Oscar Isaac, but of course he cannot be cast as Reed Richards because he is already Moon Knight. So the next choice for me would have to be Ewan McGregor. And I love Ewan. I think he's phenomenal, but I see him as Obi-Wan. And he's recently stated that he's in the Star Wars franchise and doesn't really feel like he needs to move into Marvel. However, you never really know. Now, the other two names I could think of are Adam Driver and John Boyega. And quite honestly, I don't really see either of them being Mr. Fantastic. I actually think that out of anybody in the Star Wars franchise, I would still rather take Penn Badgley. But apparently there are some big names being considered alongside of Penn, and it does look like Marvel Studios is pretty close at an official casting, which means an official casting announcement shouldn't be too far away. Yes, we have D23 coming up in a little bit over a week, and that would be the perfect opportunity to announce an official cast for the Fantastic Four, and who knows, maybe they have already picked the actors they want, just nobody knows that it's official yet. But moving on to Sue Storm, and I really, really like these names. Now, this is coming from an account, Great Phase, who claims to be an insider. They've been right about a few things, but also been wrong, so take this with a grain of salt as well. But here are the names that they've listed. Lily James, Amanda Seyfried, Philippa Sue, Jodie Comer, Saoirse Ronan, and Vanessa Kirby. 
Now, honestly, this list to me is pretty fantastic. There are some really great names on here. I really think Amanda Seyfried would make a great Sue Storm, but actually to me, it's the last three names that I think would just be perfect. Jodie Comer, Saoirse Ronan, and Vanessa Kirby. I love all three of these actresses. If you don't know who Joni Comer is, if you've seen the movie Free Guy, you know who she is. She plays Molotov Girl, the main character alongside of Ryan Reynolds. Now, if you don't know who Saoirse Ronan is, I highly recommend you watch some of her films. You might know her from the movie Hannah, which was a while ago, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and recently I think most people know her from the movie Lady Bird. Also, if you're a music fan, she was in the Ed Sheeran music video Galway Girl. Now, I think she would make a slightly better Sue Storm than Jodie Comer. However, Vanessa Kirby kind of ties with Saoirse Ronan for me or could be slightly better. I'm not really sure. I really like Vanessa Kirby if you don't know who she is. The most popular movies that she's been in are The Fast and the Furious Presents, Hobbs and Shaw. She was in Mission Impossible Fallout and she plays Princess Margaret on The Crown. And I honestly think this would be a phenomenal casting choice. I would love Vanessa Kirby to play Sue Storm in the MCU. I've been a fan of Vanessa Kirby for a bit now. I think she's a great actress and I think she just fits the bill. For Sue Storm. But that's not to discredit any of the other women on this list. I think really you couldn't go wrong with any of them. And these are big names, especially Amanda Seyfried. That's a pretty big name. And apparently there are some really big names for Reed Richards as well. Now what's interesting is that we haven't really heard anything about a possible casting for The Human Torch or Ben Grimm, The Thing. Now admittingly, I think Mr. Fantastic and Sue Storm, The Invisible Woman are the most important casting choices when it comes to the Fantastic Four. One is well, because the thing, he's probably going to be mocap. It's going to be CGI, right? So the actor isn't as important there as far as looks wise. It's more about the personality and the voice that they want behind it. And Johnny Storm, Sue Storm's brother, of course, is a huge part of the Fantastic Four, but perhaps they want to cast Sue first and then cast somebody that kind of looks like her because, of course, Johnny Storm and Sue Storm are brother and sister. Plus, not to mention Reed Richards and Ben Grimm are best friends. So once you get Reed Richards, you can find another actor that vibes well with Mr. Fantastic. Now, I will say I can also see Penn Badgley and Vanessa Kirby together on screen. I can also see Penn Badgley pretty much with any of these women that have been listed. But not gonna lie, I still do have a soft spot for John Krasinski. I would still like him to be Mr. Fantastic. He is a little bit older, so I get it if Marvel Studios is kind of going for a younger Fantastic Four, he might not fit the casting, but he was phenomenal in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I mean, when I see him now, I simply see Reed Richards. But hey, let me know what you think about all of these casting choices in the comments down below. Do you have a specific person that you would like to play each role in the Fantastic Four? If you do, let me know in the comments. Also, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest MCU news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.